guys, I just wanted to talk about um, executive dysfunction today. It is common with people with ADHD to have executive dysfunction. A lot of people think that it's because people with ADHD are inherently lazy or that they will not, people will attribute it to the ADHD. They'll just think that the person themselves who has ADHD is just inherently lazy or is refusing to work on things that they know that they should work on. But so I started by looking up the definition of executive dysfunction and it says cognitive, behavioral, and emotional difficulties which often occur as a result of another disorder or traumatic brain injury. So basically, you're sitting there and you want to do it, but you can't do it. So it's a diff like an emotional or behavioral issue where you, or cognitive in the case of like traumatic brain injury, um, where you're trying and trying to do the thing. And yet you're sitting there on the couch not doing the thing. And you're just like, why am I not doing the thing? I need to do the thing. I need to do the thing. It's like. And then eventually you break through your, so in my experience, eventually you break through your executive dysfunction and then you're just like hyper fixation, like I have to get this done because I have no time. And so then you, sorry, I'm not meaning to yawn. Um, so then you just kind of hyper fixate and you work your butt off and you get it completely done and then you're just like drained and you're like, versus with someone without a mental illness, um, like ADHD, uh, would be able to just plan and set aside time and work on it and then get it done in the time, allotted time, or maybe it would take longer or shorter depending on how well they are at, at guessing how much time something's going to take, but they'd be able to set aside time and work on it versus set aside time to work on it and be like, I am doing everything but that. Why can't I make myself do the thing that I am trying to do right now? And, um, yeah, so that's executive dysfunction. You really shouldn't judge people because you don't know what other people are going through. So sometimes you think someone's just lazy or that they just procrastinate, but really they have more going on than you realize and they're trying. And so I think if we give people the benefit of the doubt more and are willing to listen and care about what people are going through, then we would be better off as a society. So yeah. Um, But yeah, it, in the definition, it said that we struggle with planning, problem solving, organization, and time management. I'm going to say that that's a little bit ableist because it's taking organ, it's, a, it's taking traditional organization because there's chaotic organization where you know where everything is. It just doesn't look like it has a place to someone from the outside and people will treat that as unorganized. But if you know where everything is, is it really unorganized? Like, or is it just chaotically organized in a way that doesn't make sense to other people? So I'm going to say that we don't actually struggle with organization. We just struggle with fitting into stereotypes of how organization should be. And for problem solving, I'm also going to say we do not struggle with problem solving because we just struggle with, um, they're like creative, pro um, problem, um, creative solution finding is very common with ADHD because your brain jumps from thing to thing to thing to thing. And it helps you put this thing and that thing together that are really far apart that other people hadn't thought of putting together. And then you've got this idea. So creative problem solving is actually a strong point in people with ADHD, but I think what they're talking about here is like problem solving in terms of like how to get things done in a timely manner and with so like with the planning and time management versus the actual problem solving because people with ADHD can actually be super super good at problem solving and so and with planning it's not it's not that I can't plan what I'm going to do when I'm going to do it it's that I can't stick to the plan so that's not exactly the same as not being able to plan. So it's just, I get executive dysfunction sometimes and I'm like, I'm trying to do the thing that I'm supposed to be working on right now, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm doing everything else. 
And do you know what? Sometimes I have my most productive days when I'm supposed to be working on A and I get B, C, D, E, and F done. And then I'm like, okay, well, not tomorrow. I really have to get A done because I was supposed to work on A all day and I got none of it done. But I got so much done that's been needing to get done for a long time that was not A, but was really productive. And so, yeah, the time management and... I would agree with just because of the fact that executive dysfunction m makes you waste time sometimes and you are trying really hard, but you're just sitting there wasting time. So basically, yeah, that's my take on the definition of executive dysfunction and the issues that it says that we have with because of executive dysfunction. Um, anyways. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. I will see you all tomorrow.